Welcome back to Dead On TV. Uh, today I just want to do a really brief unboxing and review. And I ended up getting this lead lens up. I just love the fact that it's got a, I think it's a six hour battery life when it's on full beam and it's a thousand lumens. So I'm going to try it out tonight. I'm also going to leave it on and do a time lapse video for you guys to watch and just see how long that battery lasts from full charge. So anyway, let's have a look and open up the box. Um, oh yeah, and it cost me 250 bucks, so I went uh, a little bit ahead of what I was intending to spend. But I went into the mentality of, I'll get good gear, hopefully just buy it once and go for it. As you can see, it's pretty nicely made. All nice aluminium body. Uh, switches on the top here, it has a focal slide in and out uh, and then also a nice belt clip. Here you can see the USB charging area, um, so it's reasonably well covered. And there's a USB charging area inside there. That's probably the only real weak point I can see in this in terms of waterproofness. First thing I notice is Got a nice o-ring seal in here so definitely well made as i said before it's nice and light and then it's just simple screw it up again so this is the mt10 or mt10 model and i'm told six hours battery life uh, whoo she's bright oh yeah it's got a little uh, lanyard a oh, seven year warranty. I'm often you see that these days, so that's quite good. Uh, mini catalog, some more stuff in there. Oh, yep, so it's just the setup instructions. And we've got the long manual in every different language you can imagine. <coughs> oh, cool, let's stick it. I thought, well, it's small enough that I can take it hunting and put it in my pack. 144 hours is a heap of time on a battery life for when you're out in the bush, so that's pretty good. And six hours at full range is massive. I mean, most guys wouldn't spend six hours out there spotlighting on full thousand lumens. There's a water retention rating of IPX4. Now, IPX4 is like the bottom rung of water resistance. It's what they call splash proof. Splash proof from any direction means it can take 10 minutes of consistent water being blasted at a rate of 10 litres per minute. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's going to handle most New Zealand water uh, rain conditions. So we took it out for a night drive. Here you can see the lowest setting. It's quite dim at 55 yards on those trees, but more than adequate for hunting around, campfire, campsites, and walking out of the bush if need be. And with 160 hours of life, that's fantastic. Then we threw this beam onto its full setting of 1,000 lumens, again at 55 yards. Here you can see the difference is incredible. Um, not really missing any details at all. The torch is meant to go out to 180 meters. I think that would be a fair indication of what it could do. Um, in the light there, you can see what looks like rain. That's actually dust in the air that the beam's picking up. So overall, we've given this a quality rating of four out of five. It would have got five out of five if the waterproofing was to a higher standard for a torch of this quality and this cost. Um, the performance, five out of five because it is fantastic and I was not underwhelmed by the level of brightness. The price drops back to four out of five at 250. It is a good buy, but I felt that a touch on the expensive side probably better suited to 200. So all told, that is a 4.3 out of five rating, which is pretty good. Uh, this is Dead On TV's first review. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, we're about to do another video in a couple of minutes on who were the lucky winners of our draw to win two boxes of Seeker Stopper Arrows. Thank you.